Hey, what is up guys? Evan Aldo here. I am in Hope, Arkansas, which is the birthplace of Bill Clinton. And I am on the street that his childhood home is on. They call it the boyhood home of Bill Clinton. I think I'm getting pretty close to it. And um, if you're wondering, it's just a pretty standard um, neighborhood, a nice southern town it looks like. Cool area, um, pretty standard, nothing extremely special. Looks to be pretty middle class, pretty average. Um, nothing is really like closed off since it's the boyhood home or whatever. Um, I don't know if that's like inhibited by residents or if it's a museum, I'm not too sure. But on Google Maps, there's not much about it. However, you could find it on Google Maps. I don't think there's actual tours of it or anything like that. I will find out though, but yeah. So I think it's right here, if it's this house possibly. Could be, could be this house. Yeah, it's, I believe it's this white house right here. As you can see, this white house, um, not closed off or anything. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to really go on it. There's bicycles. It's tiny, it's small. And around here, here's like the, the sign that tells you that it was his childhood home is right here. And as you can see, boyhood home of Bill Clinton. There we go. And the same sign right here. And you got Bill Clinton lived in this house with his mother and stepfather, Roger. Hi, how are you? I didn't see you pull up. Where are you visiting from? Uh, Connecticut. <laughs> no shit, Yankee. Well, yeah, I've well, been, I've been there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What, uh, what city, what town? New Haven, New Haven, Connecticut. Oh, uh, Yale. Yale area, yep, where Bill Clinton lived. I'm Milford, which is the town where he lived uh, when he was in college and law so school. <laughs> yeah, I, I know a lot. I'm a, I'm a news reporter, actually. Hey, well, well, I did this myself one time. Glad to meet you. Uh, you came at a good day, I think. I mean, the, the weather's been crazy. Yeah. Not fucking crazy across the nation as a whole, I hear. And you know who first indicated uh, Got me interested in this weather change. Yeah. Freaky th th scene was Al Gore, right? With the yeah. global warming. He's Absolutely. the first guy I recall like really popularizing yeah. that idea. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, welcome to Hope. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, how could I. Hey, that's it. Yeah. That's not you, digital. You mind if I record? I'm recording, era. Oh, it is digital. Though. It is digital, yes. It's, it's, just, a, it's made to look like it. It's this not. is a Canon G7X. Yeah, it's recording. It's a high def camera. This is the one a lot of journalists I'm use. I'm like less the analogs. Yeah. Real, I'm 63 and I don't have a device. Fuck them all. It's like I explained to a friend of mine, you know what Google means, right? It's, <laughs> it's a digit followed by 100 zeros, the way I understand it. In other words, a number too big. So this thing that you can't get away from it every time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I do a lot of uh, stuff like that. I lived in Miami for the past four years. I went to the University of Miami. and uh, So yeah, studied politics, uh, journalism, stuff like that. So. Okay, well, how interesting. And now, and now you're in New Haven. New Haven. Well, I grew up in New Haven, that area. Oh, okay. Then I've Miami the past four years. Now I'm on a long road trip, and I'll be back in the New Haven area pretty soon. Um, as okay. soon as yeah, I'm gonna stop here and then stop in Hot Springs. And then Hot maybe... Springs is a cool town around here. Yeah, it really is interesting. Yeah, and, uh... but um, welcome to Hope. Uh, I've have been I've, I lived for all over too um, since I was young, and um, I like being here, and and mainly here because. I haven't found a place with a better name yet. Mm. You, you gotta have it. You gotta have hope. I mean, what a name. And what a great start to some young kid who's gonna become president one day. Just like, check this out. Yeah. Three blocks this way, you got the high school. Hope High School. Yep. The only one for a long ways around, big school. Three, exactly three blocks this way, you have the only black school for 100 miles around and one of the first west of the Mississippi River. Um, right after Reconstruction. So three blocks this way, three blocks, and a young kid on this corner just starting school, it had to make 
some kind of influence, you know? Absolutely. Um, he was impressionable, five and six years old. And um, the traffic here when schools let out is incredible. And um, so no wonder he went to Oxford and Yale, right? Yeah, I started at Georgetown, yeah. So, so it, can you see, could people see the inside or is it? If I want, if I want, uh, you're, sir, you're welcome. I'm, I'm an artist, it's all full of my shit now. Oh, okay. My, my stuff. But it's fast, take a look. If you, if you want to. Um, okay. Sure. Water Wait, do you do you own this house? Do you live here or? Uh, I've been in this house for six months, going on, still figuring out what to do with it. The city, especially, it's like I've been bugging them for a while. It's like I'm world class, man. I've done New York. Take advantage of me, please, before I die. God damn. Some respect, though, you know, for the artist thing. It's like, uh, well, how about this house? You want to live here and see what you can do with it? Generating some interest for real, because I love talking to foreigners. Many of the local people, if you grow up around here, small yeah. town, you know, you don't, you don't trust foreigners so much. Xenophobia, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Uh, but shit, I was a Navy brat. I lived all over. And um, one of the delights of my life was not being the, or being the only white person I saw for days. You know, I mean, mm. uh, so wait a minute, I, I, I like talking to, to visitors, to foreign people, so seeing where they're at and seeing why I like the place, the name mostly, but also the middle of the country, it's kind of interesting. Uh, enough about me. Um, oh no, go on, go on. I, I, it's interesting, I, it's, it's really interesting. I didn't even, I didn't know anything about this, I didn't know if we were allowed to go on the property or anything. I right, mean, did you yeah. did you stumble upon, upon this place almost by accident, like uh, just the sign on well, Main Street? Well, I found it on Google Maps, I was typing in Bill Clinton Boyhood Home, I knew he was born in uh, Hope, so I figured okay. to try to find that out, and I saw the picture. Boyhood Home on is, is usually the reference to here, because his yeah. birth home uh, was actually owned by his grandparents. Uh, and his newly widowed mom, it's kind of a neat story. Uh, she was three or four months pregnant when Bill's father, Blythe, died in a car wreck. Right. And, um, yeah, so in this, uh, born in, in Virginia, his mom's uh, grandparents' house, mm -hmm. which is owned by the National Park Service now, mm -hmm. and has tours. They're very good. Uh, and they have a bookstore. I love the bookstore because it's got some of Bill's picks in there, and some of them are pretty damn good and interesting. Mm. Right? right? And, and this is in which town is this one? This is in, in Hope, just a half a mile from here. Oh, okay. So it's that's the birth home owned by the National Park Service now, just recently. Oh, okay. And, uh, it's, uh, but w when you Google in boyhood, uh, I think that's cued into this house to differentiate it from birth home. Birth home, boy. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Interesting. So, but, uh, please step inside and look around if you oh, care Oh, okay, to. sure. I just did this yesterday. So you do it's painting. Up nice, okay. I love it. But the people, some people in the city, I was bragging yesterday. It's like, oh man, I was up all night working on a new picture of Hope. She's a girl. Everybody knows Hope is a girl. <laughs> uh, originally, it was how the city got its name, some railroad magnate's daughter. Oh, uh, okay. So I got a picture of Hope on the front porch. It's like, oh no, what she looked like? How'd you get to, you know, questions. Man, leave me alone. It's just art. So how often do people come around here like me? How often do you get? Um, well, recently with the holiday and nice weather, a uh, couple every day. And I'm delighted by uh, the fact that they're not all from Texas, you know, different places. Yeah. Um, I've had some people from China recently, which I can relate to. I lived on Taiwan as a kid, even know some words. It was so, so great, uh, so rewarding because they seem to really appreciate having somebody they could just not, I guess, dismiss them, you know, as an Asian, as an uh, Oriental, whatever it right. is. Oh, but I had this chick from, uh, from, uh, shit, uh, Chicago. Okay. Uh, uh, just uh, this past weekend. She was cool as hell, bad. She was like 30 and statuesque, very pretty, uh, light gray eyes, the kind that just like hypnotized, a lovely dog, and she's traveling by herself from Austin, a cool city in Texas. That's where I just was. I came up from Austin. Okay, <laughs> yeah. it's like the only, the only place in Texas I care to, to really visit. Yeah. Because of the music and the art, right? Yeah. It's pretty yeah. hip. I still watch Austin City Limits. My favorite TV show since I was 16. Wow, well, okay. Uh, so it was yeah. pretty neat. I mean, I haven't been there, so please tell me it's not going to disappoint if I ever make it down there. I mean, it's nice. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it Is it nice. all because of the college? I think that, yeah, and the Capitol building's cool. I mean, I didn't spend too much time. I walked around 6th Street, you know, with the, 
stuff there. And I walked around the Capitol building, and that was pretty much it. I mean, I didn't do too much there. I just well, you through. like this Chicago chick? Uh, no, she was heading to Memphis, but Hot Springs is a usual destination for anybody heading north with time to look around. And I recommend Hot Springs, Memphis too, but. Yeah. Hot Springs is more unique. Not many, you know, it's more unknown perhaps than, than Memphis. That's where I'm going to go next. And is there anywhere else in Arkansas that I should look at? <laughs> uh, I should say, not that, not that I can say really. We, we have a, a world-class art museum now called Crystal Bridges in uh, Bentonville. It's up near our college town, Fayetteville, okay. University of Arkansas. And um, yeah, the college thing, it really does help as far as culture, you know, civilization in an area. And um, I'm trying to instill some of those ideas here, a small town that doesn't, you know, our local, our local little two-year school just don't cut it, man. Mm. And, um, but a uh, bicycle riding, it's like, man, you live in this town, get a bike. It's good for you, trust me, and good for the environment, you'll feel better. Um, go to a college town, I tell people, you go to a college town anywhere, you'll see more of these bikes, but it's unknown here. I'm, I'm trying to, and, have a positive influence some, some way. What are your ambitions with, with the journalism? I mean, well, I'm right now I'm applying for TV reporter jobs. I also may run for office in Connecticut, actually, in a <laughs> small town that I uh, grew up well, in. Journalism is a yeah. good, good, good background for that, I think, you know, because you got to deal with the press every day. Yeah. Look at the clown we got now. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, yeah. His, his entertainment value is sky high. The, the actors we have, actors. Washington is Hollywood for ugly people. Ah, very good. Yeah. It is that. It is, it is that. entertainment. It's the greatest entertainer of all time, probably I Donald Trump. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy. But, but yeah. So, I just wanted to ask you again. So you've been living here six months, yes. and then so well, in this house. Okay. Uh, but my um, uh, my family roots, my mother's side of the family, some of the first white people over in this county. Okay. Uh, and as a as a Navy brat, because my father Yankee people and uh, French French Canadians. Um, Traveling uh, as a Navy brat, I was always near the coast, always near the coast. And the only time visiting the, any place inland, the heart of America, the, the Mississippi River and all, um, was my visiting my mom's people from here. And I didn't understand how they talked and some of their attitudes about mm -hmm. race and religion, I thought were really wrong. They just were. And, um, but I, I saw a man land on the moon here. I saw Arkansas's greatest artist, in my opinion, John Akash, on TV in this little town when I was like mm -hmm. 14. On, on Johnny Cash's show was the great Bob Dylan. They sang a song together, Girl, Girl from the North Country. And um, as, an, uh, as an artist, I've, I've been following this discipline since I was four. I'm 63 now, so a long time. Um, but in my opinion, it's like, well, America's most important artist alive now uh, is Bob Dylan. Yeah, boy, he's still alive. And to see him on TV, first time I ever saw this guy on, on TV, on Johnny Cash's show in this town anyway. Saw a man land on the moon here and been waiting for a turn, scared, waiting, fearing a tornado ever since coming here after seeing Luis Rivas as a little kid. Mm. And, and now the shit is going down, man. Global warming is really making it scary. Yeah. You can't get away from those bastards. They're like a, a, a great sucking black hole in reverse. Yeah, I know, <laughs> in Kansas, I was seeing a lot of, the, yeah, that's crazy, these tornadoes. But um, does Bill Clinton come back here ever? Yes, he was just here um, in April, okay. first part of April, uh, for our Chamber of Commerce uh, okay. a banquet. Um, he didn't stay but a minute, just for dinner. And I was hoping, you know, got to go right by here. I was hoping maybe you'd swing by because I can't help but believe that if you, if, if you just take a look. Some yeah. of the artwork. If he knew it was going on in the house he grew up in, I think he'd have to like it. And I had a piece of art ready for him, small enough to put in his brief <laughs> attache case and take back to Connecticut. Does he live there or in New York State now? He lives in uh, upstate New York, I believe, in this town called Chappaqua, I believe. With oh, very Hillary. good. Yeah, in the, um, him and Hillary, and they have a big Probably a seven thousand square foot mansion or whatever, or something well, huge I mean, there. Yeah, between the two of them, they've yeah. got some bread. I like Hillary though, and um, uh, I supported her big time last election. Uh, I, the, my, the biggest poster I've ever thought of making, huge, uh, I made here, and man, people, uh, well, everywhere, but especially here, I was kind of surprised by the, the vehemence. I mean, 
people just don't dig around here. And I think I may know why. Because it's just easier to blame the hometown boy, this cute little boy from here. Uh, it's easier, much easier to blame his Yankee wife for any mistakes he might have made. Mm. You know, especially if you're a woman looking at uh, Bill's uh, Piccadillo's, his uh, indiscrepancies, which have been recorded for a while. You know, mm -hmm. um, so much easier to well, blame the bitch <laughs> than, than, yeah, <laughs> you know, than him. I mean, it's, I, I was kind of disappointed in that. And, but Hillary's not very personable. Maybe she's not a good actor, but she's smart as hell. Right. And we're overdue for a bitch to run things for a while. God damn, give him a break. <laughs> no, uh, thanks for listening. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. No, it's, I find it's really interesting, yeah. Um, this room here is so full of art because uh, I did New York and I sold work for a while and it got old. Um, got to feel like too much of a racket, too much of a small click of rich people, collectors, and um, so now I make it, I still make part of chance I get, it, it, it's unavoidable, but I make it out of cheap stuff that I, most people think mm. I'm thrown away. So you drew I, all of this yourself? Well, drew might or not be painted, <laughs> uh, created, constructed, constructed. Yeah, constructed. <laughs> Everything in here except the light. <laughs> uh, and thematically, it's all related. Um, it's not the best way to look at everything, but uh, there are no galleries here, and I ain't taking that time to do that anymore. Anyway, I would rather fuck a dog, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, I've amassed this stuff. Um, it's fun to show, and when foreigners come in and see it, it's, the, the reactions are interesting. Now, in all fairness, it's it's likely that I'll meet somebody of uh, the same mindset as I live, in other words, liberal and maybe intelligent. Why else do they want to take the trouble to come by a young Bill's house, right? Mm, Perhaps. Absolutely. Especially yeah. the, the liberal aspect. And, um, but foreigners, too. It's like, um, I don't know. They just seem more receptive, I guess. So what did this look like before you moved in? Was it just all empty or like who lived uh, here before? They've had, uh, how do you see them? Um, civilians um, renting this space uh, since Bill lived here up until maybe about um, 10 years ago mm -hmm. and then Hope and Prescott, our little neighboring town in next county, uh, dot com. It was uh, some desks and a, an antenna, you know, and uh, put out a com computer uh, page information about the area. And that's what this house was used to for a good while. Um, there was no money in it, so um, that just migrated into a newspaper. And it's like, I'm so... It, I want newspapers back, man. I want magazines yeah. back. Yeah. Um, I've even got... I mean, when I was in college, uh, art school in Richmond, Virginia, um, I, my first year, yeah, art, right on. I mean, my, my whole life up to that point was all about going to art school. But I didn't... I was disappointed. Uh, and so my second year, newspaper. I had our school paper. Uh, somebody sold me on the idea. The fact that it was an art school with a tabloid and a cover all mine to do every week. Okay. <laughs> so I did that and I found a copy of, uh, an old copy of my school rag around here just recently. It's like, oh man, I need to hold on to this because this ain't bad. Um, but, but yeah, that's, uh, so after Hope Prescott.com, this this website place, uh, they relocated and combined to make a, a newspaper, starting up in a, another local newspaper, which I'm so glad, I'm so happy. Use me. Illustrations. I don't want me to write. You don't want me to write. You ever heard of Conzo? <laughs> I'm not a it. Anyway, I got kicked out of school on purpose after I met Andy Warhol. It seemed like the logical thing to do. And yeah, I'll, I'll go to New York after a while. This is what y'all do anyway. For, to major in painting. Uh, so yeah. anyway, I did that and it was cool. So you, do you rent this then? You rent, you pay a monthly rent? Yeah, yeah. but it's so sweet. It's so probably really reasonable. Uh, it's right? so sweet. I hope they never change it. Um, did, anyway. Was it hard for you to be able to live here? Like there were a lot of other people who wanted to live here instead or was it like... No. Just anyone could have just... Maybe it was luck or karma, I hope. I don't know. No, I'd been here a while. I'd been here over 10 years. In hope. Try, yeah, yeah. Trying to 
uh, uh, because take care of my grandmother. I mean, I had to, poor woman. Um, and it was such a logical thing to do after New York. But I'm glad I got out of there when I did. It was right before 9-11. Mm. And so my New York ain't dead anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it, I, it was just grad school for me. It was. And um, so now here, but I've been here 10 years before. Where'd you go to grad school? Uh, New York City. New York, well, where? Which school? The city. Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? It's I like, don't know New York too well. So, in uh, Brooklyn? Okay. Yeah, where the art scene was. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It was Lower East Side with uh, Jean Michel Basquet and Madonna and, gotcha. uh, you know, Keith Haring, all these cats. Um, and, and then uh, the punk rockers led the way. It's like, oh, all we got to do is cross this river. One subway station away from Manhattan and it's industrial. We can play loud music, open up a bar. And so the punk rockers were first and then the painters, the artists. Mm. And um, yeah, last time I looked, it was like, well, before I left, there, there was graffiti, die yuppie scum, you know, get the fuck out of here because there goes our rents, boys and girls. Mm. And it was happening. See, uh, hipsters with designer dogs and shit walking around. It was like, there goes the neighborhood. I ain't gonna be able to afford it anymore. So I got out of town. Um, but yeah, we're for Brooklyn. It's like last I heard, it's been a couple years now since I kept track of the scene. Um, but we for Brooklyn was where it was going on. And so I did my time. That was grad school. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I went to over 20 schools growing up. Okay. And um, <laughs> much of it crippled me. But maybe an Eric and SOB too, because I did all right. You know, it's like, school, who needs it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's like, I got so used to that. And, uh, did all right. It's like, there's got to be something wrong with this system if I'm making good grades like this. And mm. just... What was your name? I, don't, I didn't think. What was your name? Michael Sherbert. Michael Sherbert. Evan Aldo. Evan. Evan, yep. Cool. Aldo. Yep. Uh, Aldo is Italian? Italian, yep. Nice yep. to meet you. How old are you, man? I'm 22. You're young blood. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. the, it's your oyster, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, guitars. I, I, w I started finally. Uh, music, always art number two after painting. Uh, but guitars. Uh, uh,